Next we'll consider three other elements of the environment, the stage, document tabs, and the edit bar. First off the stage. The stage is the central area where you'll be building your application. This is where you'll place your media, that is the graphics, animations, buttons, or text fields and forms. You can have multiple documents open on the stage at any one time. And by the way, sometimes you'll hear me refer to them as documents, sometimes you'll hear me refer to them as files. They mean the same thing. If we look up above the stage, we'll see there are document tabs. Now presently there are three documents that are open, but one of them is in the foreground and that's login. If we want to bring another one to the foreground, we just go over and click on it. So let's bring animation to the foreground by clicking on it. Now you'll see we went to a different document. If you look just below the document tabs, we'll see the edit bar. The edit bar allows you to navigate through elements of your flash file. The drop down on the right allows you to control the magnification of the stage. So if we drop it down, you'll notice if you wanted to zero in on an area, get hit 200%, now it blows up the, the element so we can get a closer look. Or if you need a more of a big picture view, say you went down to 50%, that allows you to get a, a grasp of the entire area. So whatever is comfortable to work with for whatever you're doing at the moment, you can select the proper magnification. There are also two buttons and one is to edit scenes, the other is to edit symbols. A document may have multiple scenes, it may have multiple symbols, it may have none, but this is where you can manage which particular scene or symbol you're working with. So for instance, if we click on edit symbols for this document, you'll notice that there are quite a few symbols, in fact they've even been broken down into two groups, graphics and movie clips. If we go to movie clips, let's select Tofu 1, and you'll see the scene or the screen has changed and now we can work with Tofu 1. Now Tofu 1 is a symbol that is part of Scene 1 so you'll notice it's Scene 1 followed by Tofu 1. If we want to go back to where we were, back to Scene 1, we could go to Edit Scene and in this case there is only one scene for this document. We click on it and we're back to where we started. There's another way to move back also. Let's say we're at a different symbol. Let's click the Edit Symbols button again. This time we'll go to Graphics and let's select Tofu Bit 4. And now if we want to return, Tofu Bit 4 again is a symbol that's part of Scene 1. You'll notice that Scene 1 is a hyperlink, so we can go back just by clicking on Scene 1. 